Located within the University of Bridgeport's campus, Payer College is a for-profit art and design school with more than 100 students, students who as of right now have no one to teach them. The bold headline on the Payer College website says now accepting applications. What they don't tell you is currently no one is employed to teach. If you still are, you are still taking in students, you are still taking their money, and you know you have no teachers, that is definitely unethical. Unethical? Perhaps. But illegal? No. According to the Connecticut Office of Higher Education, the fact that there is currently no faculty under contract is not in itself improper. Payer College is owned by Joe Beerbaum, the disgraced former Stone Academy CEO, now the subject of a state lawsuit that alleges he scammed students out of their tuition money. I see it basically repeating itself all over again. Justin Culifer is one of those students. He has some advice for current and prospective Payer College students. Get your transcripts and withdraw. Payer is not the only art school in the state of Connecticut. Look elsewhere. Go to the community colleges. Go to the, the universities. Go to an institution that's going to have your education over their profits. Documents obtained by Fox 61 show Payer College is being sold and Beerbaum is stepping down. Joseph Beerbaum should not be allowed to practice business in the state of Connecticut. Beerbaum announced the appointment of Dr. Darren Hancott as the new CEO. Hancott, a former University of Phoenix executive, the largest for-profit school in the U.S., which was fined nearly 10 million in 2004 for breaking the law. I don't think that people who are in government should be continuing to run their offices if they are not investigating these people. In addition to having no faculty, Payer College was put on a warning list by the Accrediting Commission of Career School and Colleges, or ACCSC, for not being in compliance with accreditation standards. Payer College must now respond to these allegations and show it's meeting its requirements. We reached out to Payer College for a comment. They took my information, but nobody got back to me. The Office of Higher Education told me they anticipate the new owners will hire new faculty before the fall, but said if they don't, they will, quote, take action to protect the students. Reporting in Bridgeport, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.